All right. Good morning, everyone. So today we are going to have a final exam, right? So to those of you just uh, entering or coming into the Zoom, right? I just want you to check the attendance into the line group, please. The name and ID student. I think two like have this up final. So this is the test format for today class. So we're gonna have like a listening test 100 item, part one, two, three, four, eight, photograph, question responses, uh, conversations and talks, right? So the test format is all about like new toic test. I'm going to send you a Google form link right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I just sent you Google form link. So please fill require information, name, surname, or whatever, right? Okay, so I need to send for more. Is that the uh, chair spreadsheet? Wait a second. This one, okay, good. All right, so just fill your name, right? Your name, surname, um, email address, uh, score, and then passport test, is that right? Mock interview, whatever we did uh, for this semester. Uh -huh. All right, again, so for the TOEIC test, right, for today's class, we're gonna have like 45 minutes to finish a listening test before part, right? Do together, just because I'm, I'm going to show you for, uh, for the screen. And after that, um, I'm going to send you reading test, mm -hmm, just only for a double email, right? Reading test uh, 75, uh, 75 item questions here. The total score is that um, uh, 100 and 200, uh, 200 question with 19, uh, 1990, yeah. All right, if you're ready to do the test, can you type yes into the Zoom? <laughs> ah, yes, 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 right. So um, I'm going to let you do the listening test 
at nine o'clock, right? So it will last for 45 minutes. So I think it will be finished uh, at four, uh, 9.45, that's it. All right, good. Listening test one, two, three. I think we can start right now. Mm -hmm. Um, excuse me, Ka mm -hmm. Uh for uh in the Google form for the mock interview, mm. uh where can I uh see find the... the score, right? Okay. Uh, uh test uh so I sent you to five, right? The first one is Google form link in the line. And the second one is that um let me check. Um, oh, I just sent a wrong file. I can say, wait a second. This one. So you can see from the group presentation, right? This one. <laughs> And block number two, right? Block two. One, two, three, four. Okay, maybe we can start now. Everyone's ready, right? <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, go, let's go. Part one, directions. In part one of the test, you will be shown six photographs and hear four statements about each photograph. The statements will be marked A, B, C, and D. All statements will be spoken only once and not written down. For each photograph, choose the statement that accurately describes what can be seen in the photograph. Look at a sample photograph. Listen to the four statements. A. The ship is very modern. B. Passengers are boarding the ship. C. Palm trees are planted along the waterfront. D. People are having a party on a boat. Statement C. Palm trees are planted along the waterfront. Is the most accurate description of what can be seen in the photograph. Therefore, you should mark your answer choice C. This part will now start with question one. Select your answers as you listen. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. She's tying her shoelaces. B. She's holding a cup. C. She's reading under an umbrella. D. She's jogging through a park. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. Some people are packing their suitcases. B. Some people are walking along the street. C. Some people are boarding an airplane. D. Some people are sitting in a waiting area. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. Items have been placed in a shopping cart. B. Some vegetables are on display in a store. C. Ceiling lights are being installed. D. Flowers are being planted in pots. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. 
A. There are papers piled on a chair. B. There are cabinets above a computer monitor. C. The man is opening a window. D. The man is reaching for a telephone. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. One of the women is giving a presentation. B. One of the women is drinking coffee. C. Some books are packed in boxes. D. Some books are spread out on a counter. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. Some vendors are selling merchandise. B. Some people are putting up a tent. C. Two men are shaking hands. D. A woman is clearing off a table. Part two. Directions. In part two of the test, you will listen to 25 questions, each followed by three potential responses. The responses will be marked A, B and C. All questions and responses will be spoken only once and not written down. For each question, choose the response that accurately answers it. This part will now start with question 7. Select your answers as you listen. Number 7. What time are we meeting with the architect? A. No, but they usually do. B. The new sports arena. C. Right after lunch. Number 8. Do you want to apply for our store's discount card? A. The shipment arrived yesterday. B. Yes, that would be great. C. My car is in the repair shop. Number 9. The storage room is locked, isn't it? A. Mostly boxes of books. B. Yes, but Ms. Kim has a key. C. There should be plenty of room. Number 10. When will the new television model be released? A. Probably in late October. B. Yes, an updated version. C. It's one of my favorite shows. Number 11. How do I get to the post office? A. No, she doesn't have any letters. B. Sorry, I'm not from around here. C. During my break. Number 12. Would you mind holding your class in room 215? A. I thought he graduated last semester. B. Sure, I can do that. C. Yes, then new textbooks. Number 13. Where did you work previously? A. From 8.30 to 5. B. At a law firm in Toronto. C. No, I'm going afterward. Number 14. Isn't your dental appointment this afternoon? A. Oh, thanks for reminding me. B. She's an experienced dentist. C. It was much higher than that. Number 15. Should we sit at a table in the cafeteria or go out to the patio? A. Is it warm enough to go outside? B. Just some coffee. C. Yes, stack the tables, please. Number 16. Why don't you try restarting the computer? A. The number for technical assistance. B. Depending on when it was finished. 
C. I already did that. Number 17. Where would you recommend going for vegetarian food? A. I received her supervisor's recommendation. B. There's a great place on Main Street. C. A reservation for 12. Number 18. Please read this manual before tomorrow's training session. A. I'll be sure to look it over. B. It's a new transmission. C. I saw him at the station. Number 19. Ms. Jones usually arrives at the office at 7.45, doesn't she? A. For the transportation department. B. No, I ordered nine. C. Traffic's really heavy today. Number 20. Where did the company president decide to open a new branch? A. Sales were high. B. In New Delhi. C. On November 29th. Number 21. We're selecting new furniture for the waiting area. A. Where's the waiter? B. A new director was selected. C. Harold's Furniture Store isn't expensive. Number 22. Why are these instructions so complicated? A. Thanks for coming in early today. B. I've asked Mark to simplify them. C. We have enough copies for everyone. Number 23. Which event space would you like to use? A. Let's try for mid-September. B. We should hire them. C. I like the one we used last year. Number 24. Who's writing the software development proposal? A. We're open 24 hours. B. At 7 o'clock on Monday. C. That assignment hasn't been given out. Number 25. Have you sent out the invitations to Mr. Ito's retirement party? A. We never received the guest list. B. I'm planning on going too. C. Outside of the conference center. Number 26. When will the taxi come to take us to the airport? A. In front of the hotel. B. There is a shuttle bus that goes there. C. Because it needs updating. Number 27. I don't recommend using that printer. A. The repair person just finished working on it. B. On the top shelf in the supply closet. C. 50 copies stapled, please. Number 28. The speech shouldn't last longer than 10 minutes, should it? A. No, it should be fairly brief. B. Yes, it was quite informative. C. No, you can walk there. Number 29. How can I order advanced tickets for the orchestra performance? A. They're available on our website. B. Yes, his order is here. C. My performance review went very well. Number 30. Haven't those sales figures been updated yet? A. I'll have some, thanks. B. They're actually half price. C. We finished doing that last week. Number 31. 
We really received a lot of submissions for the design contest. A. I know. It'll be difficult to make a decision. B. The entry fee has already been posted. C. A non-negotiable deadline. Part 3. Directions. In Part 3 of the test, you will listen to 13 conversations. Every conversation will be followed by three questions about it. Each question will have four answer choices, marked A, B, C and D. Each conversation will be spoken only once and not written out. For each question, choose the answer choice that accurately answers it. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'd like a ticket to the museum's special Egyptian art exhibit. I've heard wonderful things about it. I'm sorry, that exhibit's very popular and we've already sold out of tickets for the morning. We still have some available for this afternoon, though. Oh, I can't wait that long. I'll have to come back a different day. Can I reserve a ticket in advance? We do offer advanced sales, but only for museum members. If you don't have a membership, you can sign up for one here. Oh, good. I'll do that right now. Number 32. Where is the conversation taking place? Number 33. Why does the woman apologize? Number 34. What does the man say he will do next? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Charlotte. Sorry to interrupt, but I've got a management meeting tomorrow about expenses for next quarter, and I'm waiting for the department budget proposal. I just finished. The only issue is with the estimated cost of office supplies for next year. Based on the requests I've received, we'll need to increase our office supply spending by quite a bit. Oh, that's not good. There's not very much flexibility for increasing our spending right now. I'll bring this up at the meeting. Let's see what the other managers think about trying to renegotiate our contracts with the vendors we buy office supplies from. Hopefully, we can get lower rates. Number 35. Why does the man say, I'm waiting for the department budget proposal? Number 36. What does the woman say about an office supplies estimate? Number 37. What will the man discuss at a meeting? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Heidi, you're the coordinator for the new hire orientation, right? I wanted to check in with you about the three new bank tellers. Did you still want me to go over the benefits with them? Yes. They'll be trained in the banking software system on Monday morning, and I was hoping you could give your presentation right after lunch that afternoon. Hmm. I was afraid of that. I just scheduled another meeting on Monday at 1 p.m. Is there any way you can have me go first in the morning? Well, we can't really change the schedule at this point, but I'll ask Rob to cover for you. Don't worry. Thanks, Heidi. I appreciate it. Number 38. What is the woman coordinating? Number 39. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 40. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. 
I'm so glad you're both here. We need to plan our strategy for next month's business exposition. So what should we focus on first? Well, our advertising agency only has a booth at the exposition for two days, so we really want to make a strong impression. I think we should put together a pamphlet with samples of our successful ad campaigns and testimonials from our clients. Can you work on the pamphlet with me, Susan? Yes, but I'm a little worried about the tight deadline. We'll need to get it to the printers by next week in order to have it in time for the expo. Number 41. What is the conversation mainly about? Number 42. What does the man suggest doing? Number 43. What does Susan say she is concerned about? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I saw some shoes on display, but I don't know how much they cost. Can you help me? Sure. Which pair of shoes is it? Over here. See? These sandals look great, but I can't find a price tag. OK, let me take a look. Can I see the box? Actually, the box isn't on the shelf. All right. I'll need to find the price on our website. Give me a minute. Number 44. What does the woman ask the man about? Number 45. Why does the woman say, These sandals look great. Number 46. What does the man say he will do? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Junsu, how's the special order of cakes for the Greenville Cafe coming along? They have to be ready for the noon delivery. I'm a little behind. When I turned on the mixing machine this morning, there was a loud creaking noise. I needed to figure out what the problem was before going any further. Oh, I see. Do you think we'll need to call someone to come and have a look at it? No, I took care of the problem. I just needed to replace a small part. And the cake should be ready on time for the delivery at noon. Number 47. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 48. What problem does the man mention? Number 49. What will happen at noon? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Jason, I just heard on the radio that there's a big snowstorm heading our way. The train service may be suspended tomorrow, and I'm scheduled to work an early shift. Oh, I'm glad you told me. If the forecast is that bad, other employees won't be able to come to the store either. I'll decide early tomorrow whether we can open the store or not. Let me know if you need help contacting the rest of the staff in the morning. Okay, that would be great. Thanks. Number 50. What problem does the woman mention? Number 51. What does the man say he will decide tomorrow? Number 52. What does the woman offer to help the man with? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Excuse me, my colleague and I heard your announcement over the airport loudspeakers. 
You're looking for passengers to volunteer to take a later flight to Dallas? Yes, this flight is overbooked. So if you don't mind departing at seven o'clock tonight, I can give you a voucher for $300 off a future flight. Well, since our meeting isn't until tomorrow, I wouldn't mind getting the discount coupon. Roger, what do you think? That's fine with me. We can just go have dinner while we wait. I'd recommend the Italian restaurant in Concourse B. The food's pretty good there. Plus, they have comfortable seating. Number 53. Where is the conversation taking place? Number 54. According to the woman, what will the men receive? Number 55. What will the men most likely do next? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I ordered a video camera from you a week ago, and it hasn't arrived yet. The tracking number is 17965. Could you find out what's happened to it? Okay, let me check. I can see from our database that a delivery was attempted yesterday, but it looks like the driver had the wrong address. But why didn't anyone try to call me? That's not very good customer service. You should have contacted me immediately to confirm my address. You're right. I apologize for that. Let me confirm your information now so I can reschedule the delivery. And I'll refund the delivery fee to your credit card to compensate you for the inconvenience. Number 56. Why is the man calling? Number 57. What problem does the woman mention? Number 58. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hi. Earlier I parked my car on the lower level, but I don't have quite enough cash with me to pay. Do you accept credit cards? I can't process a credit card here at the exit, but you have two options. There's a payment kiosk on the first floor of the parking garage that does. Or if you can access the internet, you can pay online using your smartphone. Good. I'll pay online. And what's the website address that I should use? The address is printed on the back of your parking ticket. Thanks. No problem. Once you've paid the fee online, you'll get a confirmation code emailed to you. Use that number to exit. Number 59. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 60. What does the man decide to do? Number 61. What will be sent to the man? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and floor plan. Hi, welcome to Capital Bookshop. Are you looking for something in particular? Yes, I need a copy of a book called January's Flight. My friends and I are starting a book club next month. People say that it's a good one for generating a lot of questions and comments. That's true. It's one of my favorites. You can find it on the back wall of the store next to the cafe. The books there are arranged by author. Can I help you with anything else? No, thanks. But I think I'll browse for a little while. Number 62. Who most likely is the man? Number 63. What does the woman say she heard about the book? Number 64. 
Look at the graphic. In which section is the book that the woman is looking for? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and review. Marcus, did you see the article in Eats and Treats magazine with a list of the best local restaurants? The article gave our restaurant five stars in the category of menu options. As the head chef, you must be proud. Yes, I saw that article, and I'm glad I decided to revise the menu last spring. It shows that customers appreciate healthy food choices. True, but I'm disappointed that some of our ratings weren't better. I'm not surprised that we scored low in the pricing category, but I am surprised by this one, where we only received three stars. We'll have to work on improving that area next year. Yes, it may be a good idea to meet with the staff about this. They may have some ideas for some changes we can make. Number 65. Who most likely is the man? Number 66. Look at the graphic. What area does the woman want the restaurant to improve in? Number 67. What does the man recommend doing? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and picture. Today, for your laboratory technician training, we'll discuss monitoring the thermostat batteries. If the power's too low, we won't know the exact temperature of the equipment. Do the thermostats in the lab have spare batteries or a backup power source just in case? No, there's no backup. You'll need to monitor the battery closely. Always check the display screen. When do I change the batteries? In your trainee manual, you can see how the battery power levels will appear on the display. Replace batteries when they reach 25%. We don't want to replace them any earlier than we have to, but we can't wait until they run out or we may lose valuable data. Number 68. What event is taking place? Number 69. What does the man ask about? Number 70. Look at the graphic. According to the woman, how many bars will be displayed when the battery should be replaced? Part 4. Directions. In Part 4 of the test, you will listen to 10 talks. Every talk will be followed by three questions about it. Each question will have four answer choices, marked A, B, C and D. Each talk will be spoken only once and not written out. For each question, choose the answer choice that accurately answers it. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following broadcast. Good evening, listeners. Here's your WXRN traffic report. For anyone traveling near the city center, there are 20 to 30 minute delays entering the city and traffic is backed up on the highways. As you know, our city is hosting the regional baseball tournament this week. It begins this afternoon in the stadium and attendance is expected to reach around 10,000. So if you have to commute into the city this week, we strongly encourage you to take the bus or the train. Number 71. What is the main topic of the broadcast? Number 72. According to the speaker, what will begin today? Number 73. What does the speaker suggest that listeners do?
Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. Good afternoon, mall patrons. I'd like to direct your attention to the center court of our shopping mall today. In just 15 minutes, we're inviting you to join us there for a high energy fitness meets fashion show. We'll be showcasing a variety of looks for winter athletic apparel from different stores here in the mall. After the show, there'll be physical trainers on hand for those who have questions about winter gear and how to train outdoors during the cold weather. And one of the clothing companies participating, Urban Olympiad, has just set up a new store on the ground floor. They've opened their doors for the first time today. Number 74. Where is the announcement taking place? Number 75. What does the speaker say will happen immediately after today's event? Number 76. What does the speaker say about Urban Olympiad? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, I'm calling about a problem I had with your bus service. I ride the six o'clock bus home from work. Yesterday evening, I waited for the bus for an hour in the rain before giving up and taking a taxi. I checked your company's website for news about delays, but there wasn't any current information posted, so I decided to call this information hotline. Can you tell me if there's been a change to the bus schedule? I need to know today, please, before my workday ends. My phone number is 555-0127. Thanks. Number 77. What business is the speaker calling? Number 78. Why did the speaker take a taxi? Number 79. What would the speaker like to know? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. I'd like to start our weekly personnel department meeting with a hiring update for the Dubai office. As you know, we've been working hard to fill several managerial positions there by the beginning of summer. So far, we haven't received any applications from qualified candidates outside the company. And well, the deadline to submit was May 15th. So since several current employees have applied, I want the team to start interviewing them next week. Please be on the lookout for the interview schedule, which I'll email you shortly. Number 80. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 81. What does the speaker mean when she says, The deadline to submit was May 15th. Number 82. According to the speaker, what will happen next week? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Welcome to our quarterly staff meeting. First, I want to encourage you to read the business section in today's Newville Times. You'll see there that we received the award for the best household moving company in the area. But keep in mind, there's a new moving company opening soon in the city. In order to maintain our successful business, we've invested in 10 more moving trucks and hired some new drivers. The trucks are expected to be here by the end of the month. Number 83. What did the Newville Times recently do? Number 84. What does the speaker imply when he says, there's a new moving company opening soon in the city? Number 85. 
Number 85. What has the business bought recently? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following advertisement. Do you regularly use video conferencing to connect with colleagues working in other locations? Well, then Connectivity 3.0 is the program for you. With normal video conferencing systems, you need to set up special phone numbers, various access codes, and special equipment for your meeting. Aren't there better ways to use your time? With Connectivity 3.0, just download our application onto your smartphone or tablet, and you're ready to immediately join your video conference. Visit our website to watch a step-by-step -step video of how easy it is to use. Connectivity 3.0, simplify collaboration. Number 86, what is Connectivity 3.0? Number 87, what does the speaker mean when he says, aren't there better ways to use your time? Number 88, what does the speaker say listeners can do on a website? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. The first agenda item for this manager's meeting concerns the transition to our new inventory tracking software. The new version of the program is substantially different than the one we've been using. This software will allow us to track every single item in our inventory, regardless of which warehouse it's located in. This will benefit our customers by reducing the time it takes to ship their orders to them. We will start training employees on using the software next week. Ms. Jimin Han, a trainer from the software company, will be on site all week to do the training. Number 89. According to the speaker, what will be changing at the company? Number 90, what will the company be able to do for customers? Number 91, what will Ms. Han be doing? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, this is Mayu. There's a new office space that just came on the market that we haven't advertised yet. I think you'd really like it. It's right downtown, just like you wanted. The only problem may be that the rent is higher than your initial range, but the office space is larger than the others I have shown you. If you foresee expanding your business, though, it might be something you'd be interested in. Now, I'll need you to let me know as soon as you get this message if you are interested. I can wait to advertise the property until I hear back from you, but I can't hold it for long. Number 92. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 93. What does the speaker say is a problem? Number 94, what does the speaker ask the listener to do? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and chart. Okay, everyone, just a quick meeting before we open the ice cream shop today. If you take a look at this chart, you'll see this week's winning ice cream flavor. As promised, the flavor that got the most votes will be discounted by 25% for a week. I'd like to thank Tomas again for his creative idea of holding this weekly contest. Our customers have loved this promotion, and it has really increased sales. I know a lot of you have great ideas, too. Remember, you can share them with me anytime. 
Number 95. Look at the graphic. Which ice cream flavor will be discounted this week? Number 96. Why does the speaker thank Tomas? Number 97. What does the speaker remind the listeners to do? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and table. Hi, I'm calling from Mansfield Electric Company to remind you that your electricity bill was due Friday, July 1st. Since your payment is 10 days overdue, a late fee has been added to your account balance. Please pay the bill plus your 10-day late fee on our website at www.mansfieldelectrical.com. We also offer an auto payment feature on our website. If you sign up for this service, you'll be required to provide a credit card or bank account number. After that, your future bills will be paid automatically on the day they are due. If you have questions about this option, please call us at 555-0128. Thank you. Number 98. Where does the speaker most likely work? Number 99. Look at the graphic. How much is the listener's late fee? Number 100. What must the listener provide to sign up for a service? All right. Um, so I'm going to send you. Wait a second. Reading to my reading. <laughs> So this one. All right, it's time for you to do the reading test, I can say. Um, for a reading test, right? Um, so you can take time and now until uh, noon, right? At 12 o'clock. So I, I would say that just finish before uh 12 okay i i will um notice again maybe uh 10 minutes before the time's up okay all right go ahead one two three go go ขออนุญาตมิวนะครับอ่าทํายาวๆเลยนะครับเสร็จแล้วส่งแคปเจอร์นิดนึงแล้วก็ส่งมาให้อาจารย์นะครับเป็นการเมคเชอร์ว่า